Hi, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Deidre Jordan, and today we are going to do a total core workout. So when I'm getting ready for a workout, I always make sure to get a warm up in, whether it's four to six minutes on a treadmill or elliptical or just walking if you don't have any equipment available. And then once I get that in, I like to start with the core because everything is an extension of our core. So start here and then work your way down into your squats or chest press or what have you. So without further ado, I'm gonna get going, focusing on the low back to start. People always think of planks and crunches and sit-ups for the front of the body, but we need to address the back of the body as well. So all fours, and I will show you the move. If you have trouble being on your knees, I'm gonna show you a move without hands and knees. You'll be on your stomach, okay? So you extend your left leg back and right arm. We're gonna keep those limbs long and we're gonna tap and raise just parallel to the floor. So before I start that one, I will demonstrate on your stomach. This one, you're going to raise the same limbs, left leg, right arm, and repeat. So you'll exhale and raise. So the same idea, just a little gentle, more gentle version, okay? So let's go, we're gonna go 15 times, left leg, right arm, keep the hips level, tap and raise two three four five really extend that arm and leg to seven eight nine like you're trying to touch something you can't quite reach we've got five more here one two three four and five all right take a deep breath get ready for right leg and left arm here we go point the toe arm out and tap exhale raise one two three four five six seven head is down in neutral eight nine ten five more one two, three, four, and five. All right, take your time. We're gonna turn over onto our back now. We're gonna do two different versions of a forward crunch. So not a sit up, just trying to get those shoulder blades up a little bit. The first is a more gentle version. Heels are down, toes are elevated, and we're going to go for 15, and you can do 15 up to 20 crunches, but we're doing 15 today. Here we go. One, as you come up, you're exhaling and drawing your belly button down to the floor. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good pause at the top. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and one more, go ahead, lay back, relax your head, neck, and shoulders. The next one, we're gonna get our feet up off the floor, more challenging. If it bothers your low back, you wanna be sure to keep your feet on the floor. But otherwise, my feet are flexed, my legs are at about a 90 degree angle. If I wanna make it more challenging yet, I'm gonna push my legs away from my torso just a little bit. Okay, 15 forward crunches, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. As you come up, look at your knees or toes. Eight, it's okay to curl forward. Nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's bring everything down here. So next we're going to address reverse crunches and you'll feel those lower on the abdomen. I like to say kind of down by the bikini line. And three options, we're going to actively do two of those. The first one is if you have any issues with your low back. This is called marching. And you simply start at that 90 degree angle that we just had for our crunches. And you're gonna tap your toe down, alternating, always coming back to your start position. You wanna finish one before you start the other. So the next one we will do, bent knees throughout and you are gonna have your head down or it can be up. You're gonna draw your bent knees to your chest. So let's begin. One, two, 
three, exhaling as those knees come up, four, five, rolling the heels towards the floor, six, seven, eight. So drawing my belly button down as my knees come to my chest, we've got five to go here. One, two, three, four, and five, and just relax. So the next one is a little more advanced. You can do uh, repeat the bent knee one if you need to. Otherwise, we'll start with bent knees here, extend the legs out, and then flex your feet to bring the bent knees back to you. So, okay, here we go. Take a deep breath in and out we go. Exhale, scoop those feet back to you. Here's two, three. So it's like you're scooping with your feet. Point and flex. That was four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more here, one, two, three, four, and five. Nice job. We're going to shift our focus now to our obliques with some side crunches. I'm going to show you how we do that. I'm going to set up on your side. A couple different options here again. So you could just have that bent elbow meet the bent knee. A little more challenging will be to use this bottom arm or forearm as leverage to bring yourself up to meet the knee. Okay, so that's this one that we're going to do. The third one, more challenging, both knees up. Both knees up, again, raising up onto my forearm. So if you prefer just the side crunch, you don't have to come up off that arm that's on the floor. Okay, so let's get ready for 15. Here we go. One, two. You, so you see how I'm creating space right here by my rib cage as I come up. Five, six, seven, eight. Elbow to knee. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, we're gonna flip over. You can either turn away from me or turn like I am. Getting ready for the opposite side, side crunch. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Way to go. We're going to flip back. Now for this set, another side crunch. You can make it more challenging raising both legs, bent knees, or just keep it with the one or do that side crunch. So get ready, five seconds, four, hand on head, three, two, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see if we can get five more. One, two, three four, and five. Feeling those. Let's flip over. Take a couple deep breaths. Reset. Get ready in three, two, both legs or just one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and last five here. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, grab some water if you have some. Hopefully you do. Towel off. Moving on, we are going to do a, this is also known as a Pilates move. They're called roll-ups. If you have a bad back, this would be a good time for you to just keep those knees bent and do some forward crunches. 
But if you are good to go, we're lay back, stretch your arms out overhead, stretch your legs out. So we're gonna be sitting all the way up and then come down with a slow return. So if you're ready, arms come up to help you reach up and away and then exhale as we slowly come back towards the floor. We're doing 10 of these. Two, reach and exhale. A good rule of thumb, if you're doing these on your own, eight seconds to lower yourself down. That could be a long time. Okay, if you need to bend your knees, feel free. After this one, we have five left. One, exhale, pull the belly button to the spine, arms overhead. Two, Three, four, and get ready for that last one here. This makes 10. Slow, slow, slow. Your core is doing the work to lower yourself down. All right, nice job. So we are gonna revisit that one, but before we do, we're gonna offset that with long lever reverse crunches. So you're gonna get your hands tucked under the small of your back or your hips and long legs coming up, not all the way to the ceiling. You wanna be slightly off center at the top. If that is problematic for your back, you need to do this with bent knees, okay? So here we go, 15 times, we're gonna raise and lower. Keeping the feet flexed the whole time. Two, three, four, five. As the legs come up, you're exhaling and your belly button comes down towards the floor. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Count it down for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, go ahead, stretch your arms out overhead as we get ready for 10 more roll-ups, followed by 15 long lever reverse crunches. All right, here we go with roll-ups again. One, two, See how I'm kind of rounding my back a little bit as I come down? Three, feel the core, engage it. And again. Arms come back overhead. We have five left right here. One. Two. Three. Okay, let's get these last two here if we can. Four. And here's five, go slow. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, we're gonna stay down. Take a couple deep breaths as we get ready for our long lever reverse crunches. And then after that, we will get off the floor to finish. We are just about there. So either straight legs or bent knees coming towards your chest for this one. Get ready and bring it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, let's come up off the floor. Grab some more water if you have it. Towel off. So one standing move to finish today and I hope you've enjoyed the core workout so far. And do use this going forward in the future. Do that before you get into the rest of your routine. Strengthen your powerhouse here, okay? Hands on your head. We are going to bend 
to have the right elbow meet the left knee. So we're gonna bend over to meet the knee 20 times, starting in three, two, and one. Here we go, one, two, three. If you want this tougher, you can hop it. Four, five, six, or we slow it down. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 10 more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20 arms down. Do a couple of shoulder rolls, relax your head, neck, and shoulders. As we get ready for our last set today, again, thank you for joining me. Hope you'll see you soon. Here we go, opposite side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Feel free to double time. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, that does it for us today. Take care guys, thank you.